Here we need to submit our Revit file with the architectural link. So to, in order to provide that file, we need to bind our link model. So this is what happens when we link or bind the Revit link. Click blind, bind link, click OK. Here we have to select all links and grids. Click OK. Let's wait for it to process and let's see how the bind link uh, model appears in our Revit form. Here we just need to click OK for us to proceed. Now the process is complete for the binding of the link architecture level model. Here there is a warning or notification for us to remove the link. So we just click remove link for us to proceed with the process. Now, as you can see, the link has been binded. So, the mod, the link appear, the binded link appears as a model group. Once you select it, it's composed of a model group. It is a one entity which you can remove easily remove later. So you can ungroup it, or you can edit the group later on. Now we'll check the managed link. As you can see, the link has been removed for Revit. It's because it's already binded in our model. Thank you.